Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in the previous tutorial we created this table called bookings and we created some column for the table but I forgot to create a one more column that is called status. So in this tutorial we are going to create a status column after this own column and I am going to show you how we can add a column in a existing table in Laravel. So for it we need to go to our command prompt, project command prompt and then we need to write this command which is php artisan make clone migration then we need to say add underscore we need to mention the column name and our column name will be status then we need to give a underscore we need to say here field then we need to say here to underscore after this we need to mention our table name and here you can see our table name is bookings so there is a s at the end so we need to write it exactly like that so we are going to say here bookings and then we'll just press enter so here you can see migration field was created successfully so right now we'll go back to our code and we'll go to database then migration and inside migration we have one more file which is add status field to bookings so here you can see public function app schema so here we need to write a single line of code and that will be dollar table this arrow sign we we'll say here string to first bracket to single quotation and here we need to mention our column name which is status then we'll give the status a default value let's say so we'll say here default the default value will be waiting and after this uh, what we want is that we want this status column to be after the phone column so for it what we need to do is we need to give a arrow sign here and we need to say here after to first bracket to single quotation we need to mention the column name which is phone so we want to see the status column after the phone column and in the public function down schema we also need to write on the line and that is dollar table this arrow sign drop cv capital c o l u m n drop column it will be status just in case if you want to drop the column so we'll also write this over here so we are done so right now we just need to run a single command which is php partition migrate and press enter there you can see migration is successful so right now if we go to our database table and if we now refresh here there you can see we have a column called status and their default value is waiting so this is how we can add a column in a existing table so thank you very much for watching i hope this tutorial was useful to you make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials